Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com. So I've got the latest uh, Sinogen Mod 7 7.1 um, here. That's the setup. This is the regular uh, Nexus S on T-Mobile, the i9020 um, T. And I've got Trinity um, on here, um, kernel with the 1.44 gigahertz because that one I tried the 1.544 gigahertz and it's not. Um, it's just resetting my phone. But as you can see, I've got it on lazy mode. Let's put it on performance. Um, you might want to try. Oops. Make sure when you're in set CPU, um, you're actually at that. Um, you might have to do it because it's just the way it works. So it's at 1.44 gigahertz. Um, let's do a quick quadrant run first. I had the uh, my Nexus S4G at 1.544 gigahertz. Um, the thing with these kernels, the Trinity kernels, is that you know you don't get steps. So um, you can try the 1.544 gigahertz kernel. Um, it works on both Nexus S and Nexus S4G. The kernel itself is cons compatible. Um, but I'm getting pretty good speeds here, um, 65, 68, almost 70 frames there. That's pretty good. But this is probably one of the faster setups um, out there right now, running 2.3.7, and you can install Google Wallet too. Um, so let's look at the results. I've got 39.61. Wow. Let me give you a closer look here. Look at that, 39.61. That's pretty decent. Huh? I'm going to stick with the setup. Um, the reason I'm not getting any signal is I don't get any T-Mobile signal. It sucks oh, here in my basement. Anyway, that's my current setup um, with the uh, CM7 and also Trinity 1.44 gigahertz kernel. You can try the 1.55 gigahertz. If that doesn't work, just flash. 1.44 gigahertz and uh, you should be good to go and uh, don't forget to set that back to lazy or on demand or um, power save if you want to do power save that way it's not running overclocked all the time anyway that was a review of my current setup on my nexus s regular nexus s um, thanks y'all and see y'all later